Well, howdy, Reed Desert Boy here. I know I've been gone for about, I think about a month and a half. Most of you know it has to do with the loss of my lifelong love and partner. But uh, we're not going to dwell on that, and uh, I sure think about her every day. And uh, But what has been, you know, what, what's uh, Reed Desert Boy been doing besides dealing with all those kind of things since then? So... You know, for a while, I've been going into stores and I've been like, you know, I know it's kind of debatable. Some people don't have a real high opinion of 380, um, you know, as, as a caliber. But I've always thought that it's probably, you know, the very minimum of a self-defense caliber. It's still center fire, increasing its reliability, maybe in some ways over rim fire like 22 Magnum or 22 LR. <laughs> so, um I had to go in there and every time I was in somewhere, I'd, I'd buy some 380 ammo. I said, well, maybe someday I'll buy a 380. I started out kind of looking at things like Taurus Spectrum just because they were kind of reasonable. And, uh, of course, uh, 380 ammo is not that reasonable, actually. It's probably cheaper to buy nine. But uh, I like the idea of a more, even more maybe milder shooting uh, type of platform. And... Uh, also, just uh, that it could be a smaller platform, possibly. And so that's what kind of got me into thinking about that. So when I was younger, they used to have a company called Inner Arms, and they had a 380 Mauser that I always desperately wanted. But, of course, uh, I never got one. And from what I understand, they're not all that easy to shoot, to take care of, and they get very small sights. So it's, maybe it's... Except for just to have it as a collector, uh, probably not the best 380 to have. So what I did was I kept looking at different 380s. I looked at Bursa. I looked at, you know, various ones out there. And then, of course, recently, this company, which you're all acquainted with, SIG, took one of their existing platforms, which they had their share of development issues with it in the beginning, as a nine millimeter platform and they said you know what we're going to put a 380 version out of that and so i said you know maybe that would be a good version now i also liked the glock 42 very much i was very close to my in that one and of course uh, smith has their uh 380 um not the bodyguard one although they have that one but there's uh, i think it's the m and p 380 easy so i looked at you know some of those i shot and uh, i had my own thoughts about them and like i said i like the glock 42 it's just six rounds but it, you know it's not a bad platform but what did i end up doing well sig is of course one of the ones that i kind of like and uh so i did go ahead and get a sig 380 um i here i'm sitting here so we're doing the video and i'm only now taking the price tag off of it from when I got it home. Um, I actually put it on layaway back in December because it just was such a striking looking uh, gun that I just thought, you know, that's kind of a cool looking gun. I don't think everybody would, you know, have one of those because it's got just a nice, nice looking, nice looking uh, coloring to it. And so I ended up getting, as you can see, the SIG uh, 380 caliber P365. Now this one here is an addition that has, um, of course it's got some serrations uh, front and rear. A little slippery because of the finish on here, but this is actually known as the rainbow titanium finish. Now it is on a steel slide, it has a carbon steel barrel. And it's got a steel fire control unit, from my understanding, and of course the rest of it's polymer. You can see it's even got the, uh, if you look at the uh, the slide release, it's got the rainbow titanium. I just thought, you know, that's kind of a cool looking gun, you know. Kind of this mirrored finish, kind of different, you know. And uh, the uh, and of course it's a striker fired gun. It's 
So we'll check it. We'll go ahead and check it. See, I showed you already. There's no, no, nothing in the magazine. Nothing in the gun, right? So, and it's a striker fired gun, right? That's the trigger, right? That's the reset, right? Audible reset, and it holds 10 rounds. That's kind of nice. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole thing about, you know, whether the other magazines will fit in here and all that. I know some people talk about that in their videos. But I just wanted to kind of talk about this one. Once again, this is a titanium rainbow finish on here, you know. I'm not great. My eyes aren't great on the stats, but most of you probably already pretty familiar with these. Take a close look at that. Isn't that kind of nice looking? But um, I guess it could have some negatives as far as the fact it can reflect light uh, for some people as a concealed carry. But uh, I just kind of like the size and things. And my understanding, I haven't taken it to the range yet because I wanted to show it to you first, is that, you know, it uh, shoots very mild in the sense of a 380 because it's really on a 9mm platform if you want to look at it that way. So it's 5.8 inches overall length. The width is 1.1, 4.2 inch height, right? It's got the 3.1 inch barrel. That's what the barrel is in it. It's 16.7 uh, ounces overall. It's got a uh, 4.9 inch sight radius. That's pretty good. That's kind of nice. It has the x-ray uh, night sights on it, which is nice. X-ray day night sights. And it's got um, it's got an accessory rail of sorts right here, right? It's got a curved trigger, of course, and uh, striker fired, as I said. And um, um, the uh, grip color, of course, is still black, even though it's got some bit of rainbow trim there on a couple things, and it's uh, ten rounds. So. Um, this one does happen to have, oh, there we get a little bit of rain there. Um, this one happens to come optics ready. I thought that was kind of nice. I think the 407 or the 507K uh, hollow suns and some other ones will fit on there. And I hope to eventually maybe put some of those on there at some point. So I don't have any uh, weapons with uh, red dots on them other than my longer guns. So, but, uh, Anyway, I just wanted kind of to share that with you um, on my return here. Oh yeah, and this one, this one does happen to have a uh, a manual safety on it. On this particular one, as you can see, it's ambi. Some people, I'm sure, don't care for that, but I don't mind it in this one. You know, I elected not to get one on my Smith and Wesson uh, M&P shield, but. Um, yeah, some people have had some thoughts about whether these can still have some issues. For me, you know, it doesn't matter for me because I shoot 1911s. I shoot, you know, P938. So if it have, I have the safety on it, it it's, I just have to remember that's how I have it set up. Of course, you know, here's the slide lock and the release lever and uh, things like that. So uh, overall, you know, not a bad looking gun, right? You know, in the case, you know, there's a, there's the booklet, the you know, the manual, which we all need to read. Uh, there's some uh, stickers. There's a, you know, the, uh, and it's got another magazine. And interestingly enough, it has a loader with the other magazine. And it's got a nice plastic case that it comes in that I showed you in the beginning there. So I think this has the potential of becoming, you know, one of my carry rotations. Uh, but we'll see how it does. So, anyway, I wanted to share that with you. One of the things that happened that was really interesting, which we I won't show you today, but I will show you upcoming, is I always like to have a, a backup weapon or another weapon in a, in a new caliber. So I have two weapons in a caliber in case one of them doesn't want to function, just so I can still use the ammunition that I have. And so... Uh, I did happen to see another 
380 when I was in the store. Now, I remember I put this on my own like in December and I just went in to get it last month and I uh, said had time to get around to this video. But it did get a companion. So I want you to think about what would Reed Desert Boy pick out as a companion 380, you know? Would he just get a Bursa because it's, you know, reasonable? Would he get the Glock 42, you know? Would he get, uh, you know, his M&P um, easy because it's a little easier to operate and it's a little larger? Would he get, a, you know, a, I think the bodyguard comes in three. What would, you know, um, weapon would Reed Desert Boy pick as a companion to this in 380? So I've rambled on long enough. It's good to be back. I hope all of you are doing well out there. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, be safe out there, as Reed Desert Boy always says, whatever you're doing. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.